Hey, everybody, Ann here inside the tiny house finishing up my coffee. Today is going to be a busy day. I have to get those chicken yards set up. At the very minimum, I need to get the tops over them so that they can't fly out because in a couple days I'm going to try and let them out, but oh, I don't know. Maybe not. It's going to be snowing. We got snow on the way, so I've got so much to do. Well, I got the yards covered. I covered it quite a bit with this stuff. I got it from Tractor Supply. It's a little bit better than the other stuff I got. Um, and I've let them out. I It was just too stressful for me to leave them in there. Um, so we've got plenty of tarpage over there. I put the shower curtains over there just because um, it gets very hot over there during the summer. So, um, And those, are, those will last pretty long. I know this tarp probably won't. But they are all enclosed all over their yard. And they're all out mingling. So hopefully, um, what was it, two nights? Hopefully two nights in the coop will do it. So I don't have to chase chickens around, roosters around. Um, to put them back in their coop, but we'll see. And I've got this yard covered as well. And I'll tell you what, these chickens were stressing me. I could not bear to listen to them inside that coop. All they wanted was to get out. Yep, so this one here is doing fine. That's Roxy. Uh, I've covered quite a bit of it. Now this is pretty low um, because I didn't have anything to bring it up higher. Um, eventually I'd like to put a post in the middle and elevate this. Until then I'm just going to have to crouch around. Um, I've got that bowl out there for them, for their food and water. And it's heavy. It seems to work pretty well. The plastic little bins that I was using for the water, well, they're cheap and they got holes in them. Uh, when I was trying to uh, break up the ice, whoops. Um, <laughs> yeah, so this is covered in tarps too because, like I said, I want them to have uh, shade in the summer. It's completely covered over the top. Um, and as you can see, Patsy and Mama, they have become good chums. They just chum around together. They're about the same size. This one here is kind of like the... She is now the top hen. <laughs> Finally, she gets to be the top hen. But these over here, let's see if I can get over here. Um, they're just so calm and so much happier. And they're just chilling out. So I'm very, very glad. I went ahead and uh, added more soil to this dust bath. I'm going to give one to the fellas eventually, too. I put some wood ash in there, some diatomaceous earth. Eh, the soil's kind of wet, so it's not going to do them a whole lot of good right now. But it'll dry out. And uh, it's partially sheltered by this tarp. I hate blue tarps, but they work. Um, but they're doing just fine. And so is Miss Roxy. Hey, Rocky Two. Are you going to be as beautiful as Roman? I think so. He's getting some brown colors in there. Now, eventually, after Mama gets all healed up, I'm going to put him in with Patsy and Roxy and Mama. And this guy will get a flock eventually. He's just, oh my gosh, what a gorgeous, gorgeous rooster. And I got the puppies over there. Yeah, because you guys chase the chickens a little bit too much. But I still love you. So, it doesn't look great, but um, everything is completely covered. I don't think they're going to be able to get out. I think everybody's just going to be nice and safe. So, um, you know what? I had to go check and see if we got any eggs. Well, we got three so far. Um, it's still, it's not even 3 p.m., so I'm going to leave these here and uh, check back a little bit later. Oh, my. We got one here. We got two here. Oh, there's a little bit of blood on that. What does that mean? I'm going to have to look that up. And they've... Oh, there's one more down there. Oh, my gosh. So all four of them laid today. I'm going to have to fix that. I looked it up and found out there could be multiple reasons why a hen lays a bloody egg. Now, she may be just starting to lay eggs. I never got four in one day before. It's usually just two, maybe three. Um, the egg was a little bit larger than the Easter eggers. The Easter eggers usually lay pretty small eggs. So it could be just a new hen starting out and 
she has to get used to laying eggs. Um, it could be a problem with mites as well. Um, <laughs> that's Sonny. He, he gets pissy when, when uh, somebody comes up to him and he's trying to take a nap. Anyhow, um, so it could be mites. Um, I don't know. You'd think that if one head had mites, all of the hens would have mites. I don't know. Um, could be a calcium issue. It could be just, um, you know, a drying of the cloacea area. So um, I read up a little bit, and it said just to watch the hen. If I get consistently bloody eggs, then I know I've got a problem. If it goes away, then I'm going to be good. So I'm going to be watching that very, very closely. Anyhow, um, so I got the chicken yards done. Um, not much else, though, because that took me forever because I was having to do it all by myself. But it was fun. I did it. So um, I had to go into town, and um, I took Papa with me. The puppies, they're not ready to go to town yet. And so now I'm just going to kind of relax. <laughs> um, it is supposed to start raining and snowing tomorrow. So, um, I didn't get the water hauled and do all that, so I'm going to have to do that early tomorrow morning before it starts breaking loose weather-wise. Uh, so I'm going to just keep this video short and just say that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.